Welcome to this instructor tutorial of our newest learning platform, CBX Online. The purpose of this demonstration is to provide you with important details and information regarding the switch to our new learning platform and to give you a sneak peek of what to expect in the new courseware. This software will be used to power both our Fundamentals of Automotive Technology and Maintenance and Light Repair 2nd Editions courseware. This video will use the Fundamentals text courseware as our example today, but please note that this same platform will be universal in support of all of our future titles. In this video, I will cover important information on key changes to your CDX account and how you and your students will access the course content. We'll then take a look at a sample ASC course in the new platform to briefly explore the course content, its presentation, and how it's navigated. I'll then conclude with a quick tutorial on the new course customization options and course copying as well. Both the Fundamentals and Medium and Light Repair courseware will be available in April 2019, at which point you may request access to your very own courses within the new online environment. Upon request, your courses will be built on our CDX online site and access to your CDX account at cdxlearning.com. As we log into my sample instructor account, you may already notice the first significant change. If you use MLR, you may be accustomed to logging into your own site directly. Or if you are a FAT Online user, you may have one or two courses listed on your account page here that bring you into your FAT Online site to access your courseware. In our new environment, each ASC course is assigned its very own course ID. The course ID is a unique six-digit alphanumeric code used to identify and track any individual course. To add your students, each of them will need to redeem an access code and create an account at cdxlearning.com. The access code is a 10-digit number that functions like a digital key which unlocks a student's access to the ASC course suite. However, students may only enroll in a course if they know its course ID. The course ID requirement is therefore a convenient way you can now manage which ASC courses your students have access to and when. For instance, if I only want my students to have access to and focus on brakes and steering and suspension material to start with, I will only provide them with my course IDs for those two courses. Then, when I'm ready for them to move on to engines, let's say, I will share that course ID with them so they can enroll in that ASC course. A new feature the course ID approach provides is the ability to have any one ASC course duplicated or copied and then listed on your products tab under a new and different course ID. This gives you the option of organizing your separate student cohorts within their own dedicated course ID. So in this example, I can enroll each of my classes, morning and afternoon, in their very own HVAC course. You may have used groups in your CURT program to organize student cohorts and filter them in each ASC course. If you are comfortable working with groups and prefer that approach to managing your cohorts, you can certainly continue to do so as that option still exists. Now let's open the HVAC course and take a look at the new platform and courseware. Launching the courseware will open the given courses homepage in a new tab. On the left hand side of the page, you will find the navigation drawer which contains links to important areas of the course, such as your student roster, gradebook, and calendar. On the right side of the page, you will find a tab dedicated to a host of tracking and monitoring tools. These provide students with an easy way of tracking their progress and give instructors overview options of following each student's progress as they complete course activities. Above the course content, you have an announcements block, which may be used to post notifications to your enrolled users in the course. Below, all course content is organized into topic blocks in a standardized layout within each ASC course. Each course begins with an ungraded pretest intended to evaluate students on their existing knowledge of the course subject matter. Each chapter has its own topic dedicated to courseware supporting the learning objectives that it covers. All default course content is tracked for completion, and each topic displays a progress bar, representing your individual completion status of the material within that topic. Clicking on a topic opens its content in a new page in a list format. In addition to item naming, icons and color contrasting help students identify the content type they would like to view. Chapter content begins with a pretest, which is followed by reading modules representing each learning objective covered in the chapter. 
our new reading platform offers several options to help students better engage and learn the subject material as they read. Students may adjust the font size on the page to suit their reading preference. They may also use the text-to-speech reader, which will highlight text as it is read aloud. Students may also use annotation tools while they read. They can save written notes associated with a section of text or use the audio note tool to leave a recorded voice note for future reference. Students can also highlight any section of text by selecting it with their cursor and then choosing a color that they would like to use. When finished, students may use the export function to consolidate all their highlighted text and notes in a single printable document, which is a great way they can create their own study material for the objective. Supporting media for the objective is cataloged under the Contents tab. However, students will also find these same resources embedded directly in line with the text as they read. This presentation is far more effective in engaging the students and helping them better understand the material by providing them with real-life examples or interactive animations of what is being covered in that text. Following each learning objective, the students are tested on their knowledge by completing a quick five-question quiz. By default, students have two attempts on each quiz, and questions are randomized so that each attempt will likely contain different questions delivered in a different sequence. On the topic of questions, we've actually made significant improvements to the contents of the Fundamentals test bank. All questions have been painstakingly reviewed by a team of subject matter experts and thoroughly scrubbed for this new version. Certain learning objectives will be associated with ASC-required tasks students must complete to prove their practical competencies. These tasks are programmed as digital assignments indented underneath the learning objective to which they apply. Looking at the assignment from the student's perspective, they will be able to download the task sheet as a PDF, fill the sheet out appropriately, save their work, and then submit their task sheet by dragging and dropping it into the submission drop box directly within the assignment online. Switching back to our teacher view here, you'll find a different options for how you would like to review and grade student submissions. Quick grading is likely to be the most convenient as you may simply work your way down the list and enter in student scores after you review their submissions. Due to popular demand, we have programmed the end of chapter review questions taken directly from the end of the chapter in the textbook and made them into ready-made assessments in the course online. As students complete these, they will automatically grade and report to the gradebook, so you don't have to worry about those manual gradings uh, or hunting down the correct answers within the instructor resources for these questions. Certain chapters will have anatomy of a car quizzes, which contain a single drag and drop image labeling question. You should expect to see improvements made in these questions as well, where we've better spaced the labels so not to cover too much of the image obscuring the student's view. Additional resources to support the chapter are found at the bottom of the page under the resources header. These include downloadable keyword review, PowerPoint presentation, a lecture outline, and also an audiobook file, which is going to be a recorded reading of that chapter. Digital flashcards are available as a study tool with which to test oneself on the chapter's key terms. The Media Gallery catalogs all the videos, animations, and images presented in the chapter readings and is a superb teaching resource for instructors. There are dozens of videos and interactive animations here to help you present and cover key tools and vehicle components with your students in class before working with them in the shop. Navigating your new CDX courseware has never been easier. While the ever-present navigation drawer provides links to most frequent pages of the course, a breadcrumb trail of links displayed at the top of each course page is a convenient option for retracing all your steps after you have drilled down into any contents page. At the bottom of each topic's content page, you may also use the previous and next section buttons to move backwards or forwards through the course topics respectively, or use the jump to drop down menu to jump to any topic without having to navigate back through the course home page. Shifting gears away from that content and now onto how it is managed. You now have a whole host of options and flexibility for how you prefer to organize and deliver the courseware for your students. Turning editing on will display all the options you need to fully customize your course.
You can rename how any one item is displayed. You can also use the move buttons to drag and drop any item to a different location, either by rearranging their location within the current topic or nesting them into an entirely different topic. You can also create your own custom topics with which to post and create your own resources. Uploading your files is very easy because you can simply drag and drop any documents directly from your desktop into the online course in your browser, such as your course syllabus, shop guidelines, or tool use policies. It is also easy to control which resource or activities your students may access or see simply by choosing to hide them. You may hide individual items or entire topics from your students' view at your discretion. If you want to take these restrictions to the next level, you may also apply access restrictions to any one item or topic to gate student access. For example, I can place a restriction on Chapter 59 stipulating that students must achieve a passing score on the Chapter 58 test of my choosing. In other words, my students won't be able to begin working in Chapter 59 until they pass that test in the previous chapter. Please note, any course customizations you make will automatically carry over in a new course ID if you were to copy the course. So in theory, you could treat one ASC course ID as your master template and then ask us to create copies of the master for you in which to enroll your various cohorts. When ready, you may request a course copy from us at any time directly through your CDX user account. For example, after satisfied with the changes I have made to my HVAC template course, I can now request that two copies be made for my two upcoming classes. As an instructor, you will find the Request Copy button on the course launch page. Upon clicking it, you must fill out the required information, including the copied course start date, and then submit it. You may then expect to receive your course copy within five to seven business days when you will be notified in an email and find the new courses available under your products tab within your account. Thank you for taking the time to watch this overview.